Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Reasoning models are now becoming very common when it comes to real world scenarios. This model Fin R1 is one such example. It is a large language model which has been specifically designed for the field of financial reasoning featuring a lightweight 7 billion parameter architecture. In this video we are going to install it locally and we will see how it reasons through from across the field of financials. If you look at its architecture and the way it is working it is quite interesting. You can see that the model has underwent a two-stage training process. There is supervised fine-tuning and then we have reinforcement learning which is a speciality of these reasoning models and both of these have been done on high quality chain of thought data tailored for financial reasoning scenarios. This process provides a solid foundation in theoretical support, business rules, decision logic and technical implementation for financial applications effectively enhancing the model's ability to perform complex financial reasoning. As a result, this Fin R1 offers strong support for core financial business scenarios in banking, securities, insurance and trusts. There are a lot of other details which they have shared on their model card and I will also drop the link to it in video's description. For instance, if you look at this overall workflow, this is based on DeepSeek R1 and they have constructed this data distillation framework that strictly follows official paramet parameter settings for data processing. They have used this two-stage data screening method to enhance financial data quality, generating SFT and RL data sets. During training, they have utilized Quan 2.57 billion instruct with supervised fine-tuning and RL or GRPO to develop the financial reasoning model, which is Fin R1. If you want to learn more about GRPO and this reinforcement learning, just search my channel. I already have covered it in various videos in great detail. So let's get it installed and we will see <coughs> how it works. Before that, let me also give a huge shout out to Mast Compute for sponsoring this VM, which is Ubuntu, and my GPU card NVIDIA RTX 6000 with 48 GP of VRAM. If you are also looking to rent a GPU on very affordable prices, you can find the link to their website in video's description. So I have started by creating a virtual environment with Konda. And now let me install all the prerequisites here, which include Torch, Torch Vision, and I'm also installing VLLM towards the end. And while it installs all these prerequisites, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGenPort. iGenPort lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge pod across platforms like Discord, Slack and others. It is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support. And I will drop the link to their website in video's description. And everything is installed. Let me now install the GUI by using text generation web UI, which is Uba Booga. So we will just use it as a graphical user interface. And then in order to do that, all we need to do is to just go into its directory, which we have just cloned and then install all the requirements from the root of it. This doesn't take too long. And it is also installed. And now we can serve the model with the help of VLLM and this Ubabuga. So I'm just serving the model this VNR1 and loading it. And the model is now downloaded and loaded onto our GPU and it is running on our local host at port 7860. Let me access it and there you go. So our model is loaded and running here. Let's test it out. And if you want to check out the model, just go to the model on the left hand side. You can see that this fin R1 is already selected here. You can also click on load to make sure that it is loaded. And on the right hand side, it will show you again that it is loading it onto your GPU. So it is loaded. And you can also check the VRAM consumption as how much it is consuming at the moment. So it is consuming close to 15 gig of VRAM. Okay, so 
we are all set so i'm just going to click on chat again and let's see how it performs so first up i'm going to check it out with a banking question so i'm asking it a global economic downturn occurs simultaneously with significantly rising inflation rates and interest rate hikes from central banks explain step by step how a commercial bank specializing in retail and small business lending would adjust its asset liability management and credit risk assessment consider stress testing and all that stuff so let's click on generate there you go so now you see it is going step by step after understanding the context it is really good stuff so you see it is now checking the asset side of things it is very targeted and very grounded in financial domain and if you're also from that domain please also share your opinion in the comments and now it is giving us the risk mitigation strategies like diversification, collaboration, consumer communication and then there is the conclusion real good stuff so you see the answer is very directed and very very contextual contextually rich and now let's test out a prompt regarding security valuation so I am asking you to calculate and explain the fair market valuation of a convertible bond issued by a tech firm given the following characteristic and then there are some financial parameters which I have given it and there you go so if I quickly browse through the answer this is really very high quality you see that it has assumed few of the variables which I haven't mentioned and then on the basis of it it is doing the straight bond valuation it has given us a formula which is quite correct and it is explaining that formula and then it is talking about PV of coupons it is still thinking okay it's there you go very correct answer I'm actually re reading it in real time to make sure it is doing what it is supposed to do there you go and then there are a few other formulas and mathematical equation it is doing it is all on the basis of those learned assumption it did above so it is also self-reflecting and the chain of thought is very very clear looks unreal and then it is calculating the total fair market valuation and then we have our final answer which is correct and then it is also clarifying the assumption which it made and of course you can adjust it if you are doing it for the real world and this is a real world scenario and now let's check out an insurance prompt so I am asking you to construct me a step-by-step -step underwriting decision criteria for a life insurance policy to a 55 year old applicant detailing how healthy health history lifestyle factor and all the other parameters there you go so it says that we need to do this systematically and then it is gathering all the medical info lifestyle lifestyle questionnaire physical examination the data set is very rich there you go so you see it is just talking about few different sort of stuff and then because it's a male so it has uh, directed it towards the male and then risk factors policy terms and all the terms which you are looking here are very directed towards that domain and then this is a final underwriting decision wow it is also even giving us example calculation there you go and then adjusting the premium accordingly this is unreal and finally let's check out one prompt about trust and tax efficiency so i'm asking you to describe me your optimal trust structure and asset allocation strategy to minimize estate and inheritance taxes and of course it is around uh, us eu and asia let's see how it goes and i will just let it run in real time so that you could also see what it is doing 
the request history it is just going step by step it has started with the us one and then it is talking about european union inheritance laws asian jurisdiction and it has automatically picked a few of the major economies and then it is talking about optimal trust structure talking about asset allocation around stocks bond and all that stuff and rights hedge funds this is good and of course this is not a financial advice or anything like that this is just a model so uh, heads up that don't really trust its financial advice blindly just of course consult your own do your own due diligence or go to any professional one but as far as the quality of the response is concerned this is outstanding there you go so even the conclusion is very very concise but yet comprehensive so look i'm very impressed by the model let me know what do you think i will drop the link to it in video's description if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching